How to make exploding bubbles. The bubbles will explode because they're filled with hydrogen gas. So we need to make a hydrogen gas generator. To make the hydrogen, we're gonna take this zinc and add it to the larger of the two flasks. The zinc will react with hydrochloric acid producing hydrogen gas and aqueous zinc chloride solution. Yeah, maybe one more scoop. Yeah, that looks good. We're gonna use three molar hydrochloric acid. The amount isn't particularly important. If the gas generation slows down, we'll add a little bit more. So the hydrogen is produced in this larger flask, travels through this tubing into the smaller one. Here, I'm gonna bubble the gas through water. That's gonna to help to remove some of the acidic vapors that are gonna be produced along with the hydrogen. Now we need to make the bubble solution. I find it works well to take about six grams of glycerin about 40 grams of Dawn soap, along with about 400 grams of water. You could also use commercial bubble solution here. Make sure to stir well. And now we can start making bubbles by putting the output tube from the gas generator into the bubble solution, we'll generate bubbles at the top that contain hydrogen gas. And as long as your hand is wet, they can be ignited in the palm of your hand. Now you can also blow bubbles with the end of this tube, although getting them to release from the tube takes a little bit of practice. But once you get the hang of it, you can get the bubbles to release from the end of the wand. They're gonna rise because they're lighter than air the hydrogen being less dense than the nitrogen and oxygen that make up the atmosphere around us. I found that if you let the bubble form slowly and then give it a gentle shake while holding it upwards, it will release and rise. If you put an ignition source above the bubble, well, then you get to watch it explode. Cleanup is critical when it comes to an experiment like this. We don't want to leave these bubbles laying around, so we need to make sure to dispose of them. Of course, we get to choose how to do that. Until next time.